Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a DIY Dollar Tree snowman tree and it's a dupe from Walmart. I was at Walmart and they wanted $15 for this four foot tree that looked like snowman. Come on people, we're not going to stand for that are we? So I'm actually going to use one of the snowballs that I made and I'm going to link that video in the description box down below. One of these cute hats from the Dollar Tree as well as the Dollar Tree white Christmas tree. We're also going to use some buttons. These are the buttons from the Dollar Tree. I just threw them all in a big jar. You'll see them in a minute. And one orange pipe cleaner. You don't have to buy all the pipe cleaners, just one orange one. Um, and then we're going to put some twinkle lights on it. The ones I got are actually white um, cords, but you'll see there in a second. So this is the snowball, one of the, um, the uh, Dollar Tree snowballs that we made. This was the one that's covered in the microfiber cloth from the automotive section. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to find the hole. We had cut off the hanger. Um, it's plastic, it's a plastic ornament under there. And we cut off the hanger and it left like a hole. And I was kind of trying to feel for it. And what I'm doing is once I found it, I am cutting an X in um, the microfiber cloth to create um, just a hole to put the tree in. Um, when I saw these trees, and they actually have them in all different sizes, that four foot tree was $15, but they had them full size trees up to $80. But I just thought how cute this would be if we just made one. Um, and I'll show you, it's on my mantelpiece. It looks really cute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sharp knife and I'm going to make an X through the fabric. And then I'm just going to take my scissor and I'm going to poke a tiny hole. Don't get crazy. Be gentle and do like a twisting motion so you don't have to worry about breaking the plastic too terribly. Okay, and then once you have that, you want to go ahead and take the hat apart. Now, again, I apologize. I hit the jar and the stinking camera moved <laughs> and, and it's kind of at the bottom of the screen. So I'm really sorry. But here's what I did. I ripped the brim off the hat and then on the inside of the brim, I cut the cardboard with my, um, no, I'm sorry, on the underside, the, the part that's, okay, when you rip this off, Part of it is completely covered in burlap and part of it isn't. The part that was completely covered in burlap, I went ahead and I made an X in the burlap so as to be able to cut a hole, a circle. Um, a lot of people just take these and they stick them right on top of their snowman and I think it looks like wanky a little bit. So I wanted to make sure we cut the, um, the, the hat up so that his head would fit up inside of it. Okay, so that's what I did. I cut a circle in the brim and then I cut, dug out some of the styrofoam from the inside of the hat. I glued the brim onto the snowball um, directly. And actually, since I made this snowball, um, wherever the, snow, the uh, material was bunched up, it's what I put up inside the hat. So it looked pretty good. Okay. And then I took some of the styrofoam out. Um, and then I was able to go ahead and put it back. Now it's easy to know where to cut the hat because when you flip it over, there is no burlap on the inside where the hat was glued. So you just have to cut in around that area. Okay, and then I have it glued on there and it's uh, just put a bunch of hot glue and I'm just holding it for a second or five or 10 and then just wanna let it dry. And once I feel like it's totally secure because I didn't wanna put the head on the tree while I was waiting for the hat to dry because I didn't want the hat to like move over or shift or anything. So once I did that, then I went ahead and I'm going to um, get the tree out and put the tree together. Basically, if you've never used a tree from the Dollar Tree before, I will show you really quickly. It comes with the three legs that are rubber band together and the tree is basically all closed up like any artificial tree. So what you basically have to zhuzh it or fluff it up. Um, um, all of the branches, it has about five or six branches on each row, and you want to just pull them all down. Um, the one thing that I did that was a little different is that inside the trunk is, each layer is wrapped up with like this silky white cord. And what I did was I sacrificed one branch from each row to wrap around that silky white cord so that it looked like a tree all the way up. So you see here, all that silky white cord, we're gonna go ahead and take the tree branches, one from each row, we're gonna wrap up to the next row around the trunk so that it's all covered up, okay? I know it's hard to see there, but I think I'm explaining it a well, <laughs> a well enough. And then I just took the remaining branches and I spread them out evenly. Um, if you've ever worked with one of these trees before, I think you have an idea of what I'm talking about. But this is just an optional step. Once it's all lit up and put up, you really can't, it's not objectionable that you can see the string in there. 
by any stretch of the imagination. Now, the sample at Walmart had three black ornament balls instead of the three buttons where it would be. But we're going to use buttons because the Dollar Tree sells buttons and they're cheaper. <laughs> you get a gazillion buttons and you can make his eyes and the whole thing. Okay. So that's pretty much all I'm doing here. And then we're um, going to put the head on. And how I put the head on is after I poked a hole in the bottom. And I realized that as I was describing to you where I was trying to poke the hole in, I didn't end up using the topper where I cut the top off. I ended up going the opposite of where the seams were because I realized that putting the seams under the hat was better. So I just went to the opposite side of where the seams would be and that's why I put the hole. And then I just folded the top branch in half just to give it some bulk. And I put a bunch of hot glue in there and shoved it up and held it till it dried. I rested it on a tape roll because that's why not. That's why I didn't have to worry about it being squished. And now we're going to work on the face. Now, again, I didn't mention um, a piece of felt for the face mouth because that's just an option that I'm going to do. Um, but for the face, we're going to take the pipe cleaner. This is an orange pipe cleaner. And I'm wrapping around the end of a pencil to create a cone spring. It's the best way I could use to describe it. And then I cut it off just about the depth of a pencil. And then I was like, you know what? It's a little too long. So I just cut more of the big part off the bottom to make a smaller cone spring. And then if you want it to be tighter or if you want your, you know, your snowman to have a big old nose like Olaf, you make it wider. But, you know, you can adjust the spring's tension. Um, we made one of these last year for the fishbowl snowman. So if I'm not explaining it too well enough, you can go check that video out. But then we're just going to glue it where his nose goes. And now I've done and dumped out my big old jar of buttons. Um, what I'm doing now is I would like to find two eye-sized black buttons and three button, shirt button buttons, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, to go down the front of the snowman. Okay? Now I've got a variety. This, these jars from the Dollar Tree had such a variety in them um, to the point where almost like you, it was difficult to find two or three that were the same. Um, so I went ahead and I just dug through the whole thing. That's why I emptied the whole jar out. Um, what I ended up finding were two little square ones for the eyes, which I thought were really cute. And then I ended up finding three almost black colored brown ones for the buttons down the front of the snowman. Okay. And um, like I said, they don't have to be perfectly black. I just wanted them to be bigger in size. And this is an option, like I said, what I told you that the sample had three little black ornaments hanging down the front, um, which was also another really cute option. But I just thought we, we could go with the buttons. All right. Um, let me think. Oh, and the face, what I told you for the mouth, you could draw on a mouth. You could use a black or brown pipe cleaner as well. And I'm just going to cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a tiny piece of felt into a smile. And I'm going to give my snowman a crooked smile. If you saw in the thumbnail, he is very mischievous looking, isn't he? Um, I kind of really was hoping that, that would, he would come out looking the way he did. Um, so once I have all the buttons picked out that I want, um, just clean up the rest. Now the other options, you could pick different colored eyes if you wanted to. You could give the snowman blue eyes if you wanted to. Um, you could make his button out of coal if you wanted to because frosty the snowman had a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal that's what it was that's why i wanted square what am i saying i don't know go figure anyhow <laughs> i love that you guys love me thank you <laughs> oh man um and i'm sorry this is coming kind of late in the season but it's still a less cute last minute it's also a cute last minute gift idea too, uh, but it's a uh, cute little last minute decoration. When I've decided to give my fireplace sort of a winter wonderland and I thought that this would be a really cute addition to it. I've actually um, only just saw it at Walmart about two weeks ago and I had to share it with you guys. I was like, I can totally make one of those for like $3 <laughs> plus buttons. <laughs> um, okay, so for his face we just glued on his eyes we glued on his nose and now I'm cutting out the little tiny mischievous smile and you can adjust it you can cut it dry fit it nah I don't really like it like that make it smaller that kind of stuff until you get it the way you like it and because there his face is actually fur you have to make sure that when you glue it you lay the fur down so that it doesn't make this mouth stand up weird 
Okay, but I love it crooked. Oh, I just made it so it started under his nose and went to up to his cheek. And I just put a tiniest amount of hot glue to keep it down. All right, because it's just a tiny piece of felt. It actually stuck on the, the snowball without any glue, but you want to make it more permanent. So now for the buttons, and again, this is off camera, so I'm really sorry. All I did was poke the ends of the three branches that were down the middle of the front of the tree through one of the buttonholes. I made sure it was basically the same buttonhole on each button so that they were even. And then I adjusted the branches so that they all lined up. Now, as far as his neck is concerned, the sample did have a scarf and I was really this close to putting a scarf on him, but I just thought he looked so cute the way that the top branches were almost holding up his head like a, like a little neck, like a big Victorian collar. <laughs> All right, and once you have all the buttons set, you just shush up your tree, and that's it. Um, so here's what it looks like with no lights. Here's what it looks like. He's a he's a total of like probably two dollars and fifty cents to make with all of the embellishments and stuff. Basically, to pay for the hat and the tree. Um, he just came out so cute. Um, now here's where I'm going to put on lights, and I'm really going to dazzle him up for all of three dollars and fifty cents. Um, these are the white stringed white twinkle lights from the Dollar Tree. They're a rare find. Um, they go really quickly um, when they go on sale. Um, they, I, the lady, she told me that there's only a few in each case. Um, they have the colored lights with the green string, the white lights with the green string, and only a few of the white lights with the white string. So if you're lucky enough to find these, um, definitely go for it. And it doesn't take up very much. They're only five feet long, these 20, 20 lights with five feet of cord. So I'm just going to wrap it evenly. Try to make sure that some on each branch and there's some placed all over. And here he is. Isn't he so cute? Oh, he's so cute. And then when I was at Walmart, they had this ornament. Super cute pair of boots. And I was like, definitely I'm sitting that right in front of him. So he looks like he's got boots on. Right? Tell me in the comments down below if you don't think that the boots are the cutest thing in front of that tree. Here you could see it better. I put a flash on so you guys could see it. Well, not a flash on, but yeah, Jimmy, you're holding a light. <laughs> so there he is. I also put little white lights in his eye, uh, little white uh, reflections in his eyes. So that's it, everybody. Hope you really enjoy this guy. He's super cute. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to leave any questions in the comments down below. Share this video with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in making one of these. Um, and if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.